Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the hottest tag team in the land. The biggest biceps you're going to find on YouTube. The most painful slams, the biggest bumps. Welcome to the hot tag. I am the madness, John Thompson, and right here with me is my This co- is Jake Ward. We are super excited. We are back for season two of the hot tag, and we are bigger, stronger, and badder than ever. And when you talk about the greatest tag team on YouTube, you're talking about us, which leads us in to our topic. As you can see, there's always discussions. Who is the greatest? Who is on the Mount Rushmore? And that is what we are going to discuss right here, you superstars. Now, madness. There's not really any blanket terms. It's just who you feel are the greatest. Of all time. What have you based your picks on? So I I took a lot of things into my mind. I took, how do you draw? Are you good at, can you draw? Did you you draw a crowd? Number one. Number two, how good are you really? Both in the ring and on the mic. And then I threw a little wild card in there. I didn't want this Mount Rushmore to just be the same old thing. But when it comes to pro wrestling, you got to think of things like merchandise sales. You got to think of things like how far did this individual go outside of pro wrestling? How far did they carry the pro wrestling banner into other fields, whether it be entertainment or politics or whatever it might be? So I took a lot of different things into account. Now, my my picks were just plain and simple. They were just the, the greatest. Now, they might not be the greatest technical wrestler, but... The ones, uh, I'm I'm, going to put two of these people on Mount Rushmore. They just knew how to to go. They just, once they entered the room, you stopped whatever you were doing and you focused. Should we get it off with our first pick of Mount Rushmore? Hit me. This guy, for me, the number one pick. Always has to be the number one pick in every single person's Mount Rushmore. He did it pretty simple. And he changed the face of wrestling twice he did it in the rock and wrestling era and he did it technically in the attitude era in the monday night wars Mm -hmm. and he's my favorite wrestler of all time it is hollywood hulk hogan it is the hulkster the immortal one he just did everything and he ticks off a lot of what you've done merchandise draw you don't even have to watch wrestling and you're like that's the thing Hulk Hogan does. He was everything to me. And he was the reason I ate vegetables when I was younger because I had to train, say my prayers, and eat my vitamins and become a strong guy. So with my first pick on Mount Rushmore, I've got the immortal one, Hulk Hogan. Couldn't agree more. Hulk Hogan has to be on the list. Number two, somebody who I deeply feel should be on the list but might not be on everyone's list for a number of different reasons. But this guy has won more titles, the title, than just about anybody. I think anybody ever in the history of time. He had an illustrious, humongously long career, which was ended in one of the most storybook ways of all time. He's a bazillion years old. He's still strutting. He is still styling. He is still profiling. He's the nature boy. Woo! Ric Flair. Put that man on Mount Rushmore. I spent my whole bachelor party getting chopped in a bar and just screaming out, woo. And with a tear in my eye, I can agree with that pick. In the Hulk Hogan era, there was just some guy in the Carolinas making some noise, and he did a fantastic job. And talk about longevity. I mean, he might be longevity in the pants, but his career was definitely longevity, and I can have it there. I'm happy with that pick. I'm definitely happy with that pick. We're going in now. We're halfway done with Mount Rushmore. We've got to get more. Now, this this pick, if you were around 15 to 32 when this guy was making his noise, you wanted to walk in to your work, to your high school, and just give everyone the double bird, the kick to the stomach, and then the stunner. I'm talking about Stone Cold. Steve Austin, when that glass breaks and his music comes and he flaps his big bald head around, double birds his boss on the regular, 
you are up and about. The tingles happening. And even as a late 30s bloke, and I watched the old school Raw, he was the one that drew me in. That just You could have everything leading up, but, it, but you knew the climax at the end was Austin coming in. Austin double birding. Austin hitting the stunner, and that's why he is on Mount Rushmore. Austin 316, welcome to the Mount Rushmore of arm wrestling, of pro wrestling. What? Uh, what? The on, most ongoing catchphrase of all time. For that alone, he deserves a spot close to the top. Number four. Now, we I have a feeling we're not going to have too many problems with the previous three. I think that's pretty fair. Hogan, Flair. Stone Cold. I mean, sure, there's arguments that there's other people up there. I don't this like where time. this is going, Madness. You've got this look in your eye. You've got this cheeky shit smile. Look, I don't, I don't, I'm a bit worried where this is going. There's something about guys our age where we have a hard time accepting that wrestlers continued. They continued on while we were young adults, and then people grew – and whether we want to believe it or not, maybe some of those wrestlers from the 2000s eclipsed the guys that we've already mentioned. Maybe they've gone beyond those guys. Maybe they've sold more merchandise, been in more movies, been on TV a little bit more. We're better on the mic and we're okay in the ring. I'm talking about one man who has the opportunity to win the title more times than Ric Flair. The one and only... John <laughs> you did that that save that pick if you didn't do that uh I, I would have shit all over that one but you saved it at the end there that was hilarious look I, I, I get where you're coming from I, I yeah. get that he did draw a lot of money because when it changed it evolved when it came to the attitude era Austin was flipping birds when it was rock and wrestling Hogan was able to adapt into both areas and then when it was moving to your pg your lower end he really ability to draw to the kids never give up you know it was time to go to work and off I he mean, went let's be honest. the ring we could have the undertaker on the list but john cena has buried more guys than the undertaker could dream of <laughs> he has cer certainly done that i'll tell you what they're not uh, it makes an interesting comment what do you guys Think in the comments, has the madness gone mad with his last pick? Are we boring Ooh. with our first three picks? Who do you guys think are the Mount Rushmore of pro wrestling? There are so many honorable mentions with The Undertaker, Andre the Giant. You could put about 15 people, but we went with four. You got to let the hot tag know what you guys think. Hey, guys, thanks for sticking with us. If you can, give all these things a like, share, and subscribe because the hot tag is back. And the hot tag is firing.